Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate. May God bless you. Yeah, if you are new to the channel, my name is Chisom Ene. In this channel, I teach about how to, how to grow your hair and manage your hair properly to retain length and how to sew, sew female clothes. So, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and turn your notification bell on so that you get my videos. Yeah, in today's video, we are going to learn how to cut and sew a short sleeveless circle dress. So, if you are interested, please continue watching. African print to cut the short circle dress. I actually want to use three yards because I don't want the gown to have joining. But if you can use two and a half yards if you want to join the gown at the down side. I folded it into two like this, just into two. Okay. After folding it into two, the next thing I'm going to do is to make a triangular shape from the closed side. Look at it. From this closed side, I'm going to fold it like this. how you fold it first of all you fold it into two and then you fold it from the close side fold it like this so after I fold it into four like this I'm going to start adding my measurements I'm going to start by adding shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement I'm working with is 14 inches so I'm going to divide 14 by two to get seven so i'll measure out my seven inches here and I'll mark this is my shoulder seven inches where you are going to add your armhole measurement is here is this side that is open not this side that is closed so we are going to add armhole measurements the armhole i'm working with is eight inches then from this edge i'll measure my eight inches then i'll mark this is my eight inches then i'm going to join it with a straight line like this So I've joined the shoulder and the armhole like this. The next thing I'm going to do is to add my armhole curve. So after I draw my armhole, the next thing I'm going to add, the next measurement I'm going to add is my boss measurement. measurement. Actually, the only measurement, body measurement we need for this dress is the shoulder, the bust, and the full length of the dress. So, let me add my bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 38 inches. Then, I'm going to divide that 8 inches by 4. The reason why I'm dividing the, the bust measurement by 4 is because I folded this material into 4. If you count the folding, it's into four. One, two, three, and four. Here it's closed. So, this is it. The three and four. So, we divide bus measurement at eight by four. But I'm going to add four inches for ease in my bus measurement. So, instead of 38, it's going to be 30, 42. That is 38 plus four, making it 42. So I'm going to divide 42 by 4 to get 
10 points 5 then I'll measure my 10 points 5 here immediately after your armhole then you add your bust measurement so I'll add my 10.5 inches here this is my 10.5 inches here so the next thing I'm going to do is to add sewing allowance the, the sewing allowance is entirely your the way you want it you can try to add one inch sewing allowance you can try to add one and a half or two inches but in this case I'm going to add one inch sewing allowance So yeah. So from this point, I'm going to connect it to this place. I'm going to use this my tape as a ruler to connect it. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, measure our full length. The full length of the dress we are working with is 35 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance, making it 36. From this line, I'm going to measure the full length like this. I'll place it at the edge like this and take the full length. Here I have 36 inches. I'll mark it. Then I'll bring the tape to the center of the line and also take the full length along the center like this 36 and then I'll put the tape at the edge of this the shoulder like this and then take measure my uh, full length 36 so I'm going to connect I'm going to connect it this way This is the length of the dress. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to measure the neck. The neck, the wideness of the neck I'm working with is three and a half. We are going to use three and a half for the wideness of the neck. So from this point, I measure my three and a half inches like this. Then the neck depth I'm working with is four. Along this side, I'll measure my four inches. Then I'm going to make a curve because this is a round neck. I'm going to draw my round neck like this. Okay. So I'm going to the next thing I'm going to do is to add the shoulder slope. I'm going to take half inch for shoulder slope mark it like this and then join it this way yeah so let us cut we are going to cut it This is what we have. So when you open it, you have your gown. You can even decide to wear this short gown with leggings. 
because it's a very short term. So this is what you have. The next thing I'm going to do is to I'm going to use a bias like this. This is bias. I'm going to use a bias to turn the neck like this, not together. Turn the neck. Turn the neck like this, the front, the armhole, and I use bias to turn this neck, this one, the neck and the arm. Let me sew it. So this is how you use bias to turn the neck, to turn the neck of the clothes like this. You open your bias like this, and then you place it on the clothes like this. Then you sew on this line like this. You sew it like that, close it up like this, and then you sew. You are joining with one inch allowance. 